Cave Story. What an amazing game. What was worked over the course of five years, Pixel, aka Desk Amea, created a masterpiece that not even some modern games can compare to. Along with the amazing graphics, compelling story, breathtaking music and a unique concept to battle, I could go on forever about this game. However, I just want to give my opinion on my top 10 favourite Cave Story songs. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that it was very hard to make a top 10 list for Cave Story songs. It pained me to cut out a lot of songs of the final list. So if a song you love didn't make it, then I'm sorry. Also disclaimer, this is all my opinion. This does not make this the definite top 10 Cave Story songs list. Finally, this list will contain spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Number 10 Mimi Town. One of the first songs you hear, Mimi Town introduces you to a world outside the cave you woke up in. This song offers innocence and ignorance to the world outside and its true menaces. Well, until you meet Misery and Balrog, that is. And even then it's vague. It's a charming song that lulls the player into a false sense of security, thinking that this is a safe haven and that answers will be found soon, only to have Toroko kidnapped. Number 9 Mischievous Robot After retrieving the key for Orphus' house, you enter a teleporter to this wonderfully strange corridor of dragon eggs and buzzing speedy things. This is essentially the first action stage you play, and what a theme to get you pumping! It's so upbeat, so enthusiastic! This is where you can expand on your skills, learn to shoot in all new weapons, and just see what Cave Story has to offer. And this song guides you along with every beat. Number 8 On to Grasstown After Sue is locked up by Keen because Taroko was kidnapped, Sue mentions Bushlands and her brother, Kazuma, and that you should go in her place to rescue him. This leads you to a hilly place with a speedy tune. It is so wonderfully upbeat that it makes the repetitive aspect of this part of the game bearable. You have to collect jellyfish juice like three times minimum and go back and forth a lot. And this jumpy beat that plays through the entire section to rescue Kazuma helps immensely. Number 7 Last Cave So after making a rocket, you ride on through the defence system and you are met with the beginning of the end, the last cave. At this point, the Doctor should infuriate you with all that he's done, and you want to put a stop to him once and for all. This tune captures all that hardship well into an uneasy, claustrophobic atmosphere, the final hurdle the player must pass. This part of the game is also rather challenging platforming wise. The tune does a good job of making the last compulsory level serious, and leaves the player not only satisfied by finishing the level, but also relieved to be in a more open and clear environment. Number 6 Heroes End If you choose to go with Kazuma on the dragon and escape the island, you are given a very brief conclusion to the story, and then you are met with a blank screen, with a text box stating, The End? And then the song plays. The song is kind of like a combination of an insult and remembrance of what has just happened. After you read what happens, the song gives an empty feeling to the player, which is amazingly done. After all, it is your fault you left the Doctor to win, and it's your fault you ran away, quite frankly, as a coward. This song also encourages you in what you can become, a hero. You can go back, make the right decisions, even if it means death. That's what this song says to me. And it is done really well, as both a kick in the teeth to the player, yet also encourages them to try again. 
it is just such a shame that Cave Story 3D did not have this song. Yeah, they just straight out removed it. Honorary Mention Cemetery I decided that this song should be mentioned, not as part of the top 10, but worth noting as an emotional song. It's one of the more unnoticed songs, the only reason it's on a way mentioned is because it can only really be fully appreciated after completing the game once or twice. This song does a really good job of both being solemn, while still adding that distinct cave story charm. Arthur, the hero of the Mimigas, is buried here to rest in peace. He was the one that fought back the Red Ogre to the Hidden Last Cave and defended the village all his life. Now here he is, a reminder that all heroes die eventually, and that you cannot control that. This song can be pretty powerful when it wants to be, and if the player is in the right mindset. Number 5 Way back home. Upon completion of the game, either normal or best ending, you are awarded with immense satisfaction and this cheery song. This is it. You saved the world! Congratulations! You did a really swell job. This song just gives you constant pats on the back and compliments for a job well done. After facing a series of bosses that were intense as heck, and escaping from the crumbling surroundings. This tune helps you wind down in the best possible sense. It allows you to realise what you have just achieved and finally come to the realisation that the game has finally come to a close. Number 4 Love of a Fight This is my jam. It's at this point in the list where the music becomes fantastically good. This music just came fourth place, but my god, is it jazzy and awesome. After Curly has been healed by the Cure All Pill, you start your escape from the labyrinth, with Curly actually doing something helpful for a change. Don't mess with her though, she can walk in instant death spikes like it's a walk in the park. This is such an upbeat and snazzy track, it gets me all pumped up listening to it. With all of its focus on getting out of the labyrinth, is a high moral song that is quite literally perfect for pick me up and lifting spirits. Number three, running hell. After getting the Iron Bond, the Red Ogre Medal, fighting through a series of intense bosses, and entering the warehouse near the end, you enter an odd environment where all your weapons are at level 1, aka Hell. The music starts out with rather low tone, but then it picks up and gives you this somewhat speedy piece of music that gets more complex as it goes on. This music is utterly fantastic. As you journey throughout the level, you are gently given a backstory of the Demon Crown and the island's history. The music complements this style of storytelling to no end. I actually find this to be quite an emotional part of the game. Lots of stuff is happening, the place is falling apart, you're being attacked by enemies, and you're slowly being given a better understanding as to why all of these tragedies are happening. The song helps move the story along to give the player the realisation that there is no end until Balos is defeated and killed. This song is a transformation, the result of quote, becoming a true hero. There is no turning back now, he knows that, you know that. It's all or nothing, and what's more, this song as well as everything else, makes you truly believe that. Number 2 
Moon Song. Regardless of your choice to flee the island or stay and fight to the end, you're met with this breathtaking piece of music. This masterpiece is just so perfect to the surroundings. Just look at that full moon, the rolling clouds, the beautiful blue tint on the walls, the way the items fall to the left instead of down to simulate strong winds. You can practically just feel the wind whip at your face, it's incredible. If you choose to go with Kazuma, then this song plays the entire time as you read what happens vaguely because of your choice. Hero's End was a reminiscence of your choice, but Moonsong makes you realise what you have done, and that you can't go back. You are stuck with that choice and the shame of running away like a coward as you live in the mountains. This just makes Hero's End an even stronger song because of it. However, if you choose no, and decide to see this whole thing through to the end, then you are met with the challenge to climb up the wall of the island and to get to the Doctor and the Core. It might have had hardship to your character, but you made that choice to stay and make everything right. You can do this. It doesn't have to end now. Moonsong. Beautiful, emotional, and atmospheric. And my number one Cave Story song is... Last Battle Upbeat, serious, and intense, this song plays twice in the game, and in the best possible ways. Allow me to just set the scene here for a moment. As per normal gameplay, you have to fight Misery, which in turn has been a long overdue battle. And then the Doctor, with all that bottled up anger you smash him to a pulp! And then again, as he loses control of the Red Crystal, all without dying. And then you get to the core, and Misery appears, and tries to make a deal with you. The Island, or Sue. And then, out of nowhere, the Doctor returns, possesses Sue and Misery to take you out, and brings back the core, from the dead. That's some badassery right there. Then the song plays and you are left fighting three bosses at once. The final battle has finally begun. That's what I find so amazing about the song. It complements the dire situation, the direct stress of having to win this final battle, the utter over the top expression from the doctor to take you out. The doctor isn't messing around here. He's as serious to finish you off as you are to finish him off. And you can just feel it in the air! And it even works with Balos as well, the second time the song plays. Just look at his full form, it's so sadistic! His face becomes bloodstained, spikes are coming out of the floor, and a million angels literally are coming out to kill you. Best of all, these two boss battles capture that same seriousness equally, which means there's no discrimination for those that didn't save Curly. Anyone that reaches the end of Cave Story, best or normal ending, will meet this fantastic piece of music. Even if you've never played Cave Story before, it's just awesome to listen to on its own. Do you have a top 10 for this game's music? If so, post them in the comments, I would love to see what they are. Also, leave a like or some constructive feedback if this entertained you, it's always much appreciated. Bye!